What's up guys? So, like I said earlier, I'm going to be making some videos regarding the new DaVinci Resolve 17 as far as the features that I really liked that they came out with. So the first thing we're going to look at is uh, the proxy settings in DaVinci Resolve 17. Now before, you can do optimized media, but with this version of DaVinci Resolve, they actually added proxies. So let me go ahead and explain to you what that's all about. So right now, I have this clip, and it is a 4K clip from the Canon R5, okay? And as you can see here, I'm gonna try and play it back. Again, like, 5.5 frames per second here so obviously that's not going to work for me so this is when proxies really come into play so if i go to the bottom right corner here and i go scroll down you're going to see optimized media and render cache now you have proxy and now you have optimized as well so what you can do here is proxy media resolution i'm just going to make this to like 1 8 and then i'm going to make it a dnx hr lb and then I'm gonna choose where I want this proxy to be generated right here. So you can see this is the file path. So basically the difference between optimize and proxy as far as I know is proxies will actually render out a proxy file for you that you can transfer from different computers and different systems. So if I go here, the proxy will actually go right here, which is nice. So with that being said, let's go ahead and press save and Generating proxies in DaVinci Resolve is so easy. All you have to do is right click the clip and then right here, generate proxy media. Now, depending on your system specs, this can take a minute, but trust me, it's going to be way worth it. So what I'm going to do is just pause this recording and come back in about four minutes or so. All right, guys. So it looks like we've got about seven seconds left here. And this clip here is actually 4K 60 frames per second. I forgot to tell you guys. And it's about 46 seconds long. So now if we go drag and drop this to our edit page, uh, if I press play, you're going to see that we're actually getting 24 frames per second. And now we can actually edit this 4K clip. Now I'm using a laptop here. So that's why the performance is really trash. But I did that because I wanted to show you guys what proxies does it helps uh weaker systems you know edit big files like a 4k 8k or 12k so as you can see here now i can play this back obviously it's going to be low quality so as you can see here we're getting 24 frames per second and what i'm going to do like i said this was a 20 there was a 60 frames per second shot so let's go ahead and extend it it's going to disappear because i have to drag and drop it again here you go Here's our 24 frames per second. Here you go, slow motion. That is really powerful. And if I go to playback, if I unclick this and press play, it's gonna go back to my full resolution image. So that's just a little quick video on the new proxy settings in DaVinci Resolve 17.